What's up, everybody? Justin here, bringing you another poorly reviewed beer. From Sierra Nevada Brewing Company in Chico, California and Mills River, North Carolina, this is Tropical Torpedo, Tropical IPA. Uh, kind of the, the darling of the brew tube world right now. Everybody seems to be uh, rev reviewing this, so I decided to grab one on my own and see what all the fuss is about. Uh, notes from the brewery. A tropical take on the American IPA. Inspired by the island life, we created an IPA completely disconnected from the mainland. We used our one-of-a-kind hop torpedo to deliver an intense rush of hop flavor for, and the lush aromas of mango, papaya, and passion fruit with every sip. Enjoy our tropical twist on the American IPA. And that hop torpedo they talk about is a, a special hopping device of theirs, dry hopping device of theirs that's supposed to be able to uh, impart flavors without imparting uh, bitterness. Uh, most notably used in the Torpedo Extra IPA that Sierra Nevada also makes. 6.7% uh, ABV, 55 IBU. Yeast used is the ale yeast. Hops include Amarillo, Mosaic, Citra, El Dorado, and Comet. And malts used are Turo Pale, Munich, and Honey. Let's check this beer out. Okay. Nice uh, orange gold color. A little bit hazy, but I can still see uh, my fingers on the other side of the glass. can still see the logo on the opposite side of the glass through the beer. Hold up to the light. It's um, kind of holding that gold color with yellowish highlights. Uh, you can see there's a good about a finger to finger and a half worth of head. I can see a fair amount of bubbles uh, shooting up through the glass. Uh, pretty beer, though. Go ahead and drink. Hmm. Yeah, certainly, uh, certainly plenty of tropical fruits. Uh, I think maybe a bit of a, a grassy note in there as well. Let me try again. Mm -hmm. uh, a, a light sweetness to it. Nothing uh, too off-putting. I imagine that's coming out of the uh, the fruit notes, but the uh, the tropical fruits are definitely um, fairly prevalent. Though the second sip, once my uh, once my palate acclimated to those uh, those fruit notes, the the kind of grassy, maybe a little bit of pine as well. Um, but the more more plant-like notes, I guess you would say, for lack of a better term, the more plant-like notes. Uh, really kind of shown through more and I'm even kind of getting some of that on my on my palate as well in the aftertaste but yeah def definitely mango definitely some papaya and again um a nice little like just subtle piney note a subtle grassy note uh, just some bitterness at the very, very end, and uh, some bitterness present in the aftertaste as well. But uh, really not that bitter through the majority of the drinking experience. A uh, fairly heavy body overall, I would say, and the mouthfeel, I wouldn't quite call it juicy. Um, yeah, just kind of w with expect with the, um, with all the passion for uh, the, the tropical fruits in there, I expected maybe, maybe a little bit of a, a different mouthfeel, but it's just kind of, um, holding on to the weightiness of the beer, holding on to that body that, uh, that is very much present. I don't mean this in the bad way, but there's a little bit of a. Some graininess as well that maybe some of the uh, some of the loggers have. I'm getting just a little bit of that. Maybe maybe I'm interp interpreting like a grassy note or something. But 
there's kind of a it's just beer note in there as well and again not a not unwelcome but um so it's, uh, overall it's, it's a I don't know it's my favorite uh, IPA and I'm normally big on on fruity IPAs but I could actually I could use a little more fruit to be honest um, but that's just my opinion but um certainly a drinkable IPA and um I'm sure it's right on the mark for what Sierra Nevada is going for. You know, super, uh, they're super hoppy IPAs over there, super hoppy beers, and I would say this is another one of them. So that's the Tropical Torpedo and uh, Tropical Torpedo Tropical IPA from Sierra Nevada, and that is it for this edition of Poorly Reviewed Beer. Um, so coming up uh, over the next uh, week or so, beginning this weekend, Saturday, I will be checking out a local brewery's third third birthday party, the River Rat Brewery, right here in Columbia. And I'll be uh, you can find me on Twitter at uh, at poorly reviewed p o u r l y of course. Um, but at poorly reviewed, I'll be live tweeting uh, that event and trying some uh, some beers there. So very excited for that, and I'll be reporting on that um, into next week here on the uh, possibly in a video, but certainly on the on the blog at poorlyreviewedbeer.com. You'll be seeing lots of coverage from that River Rat third anniversary party. Um, as well as for next week, I do have a set of four Irish beers to review with fr uh, next Friday being uh, St. Patrick's Day. So I do have a set of four beers to uh, review, four Irish beers to review. Um, I'll do two in one session and two in a second session. And that will start either uh, Sunday or Tuesday. Um, depending on if I can get uh, video footage uh, put together and all that from the River Rat Party. I imagine there will be a video on that. So that will come either Sunday or Tuesday, depending on how long it takes to put together. And then the other day, I'll do uh, a review of a pair of Irish beers. And then you'll have two more uh, next Thursday, the day before St. Patrick's Day. So that's what's coming up here, uh, certainly video review-wise and just kind of overall on the blog of Poorly Reviewed Beer. But you can find all of my reviews, both video and written, along with news, commentary, and more at PoorlyReviewedBeer.com. Also check out PRB on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Untapped. Find all those links and usernames in the description below. They will, many of those will be very important this weekend as I'll be using them in that River Rat third birthday party. Certainly, uh, certainly Twitter, certainly Untapped, maybe some Instagram as well. So uh, check all those out this coming weekend. Also feel free to like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around at Poorly Reviewed Beer.